everybody, what's going on? It is I, Stephen Kramer Glickman. Welcome to Win Loot Live Special Edition. We've got a very, very special guest today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a pretty big fan of our guest today. Um, she is a, a cancer survivor, an activist who has an organization called Bald is Beautiful, which is an incredible organization. And she played uh, the scroll Soren in um, both Captain Marvel and Spider-Man Far From Home. And maybe we'll get to see her and more. We love her so much. Sharon, Blynn, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing the current. The wheel, spins, the wheel spins, it gets very exciting. How are I'm you? Right well. I'm ecstatic to be here with you. Oh, I'm I'm such a huge fan. You were so amazing in those films. Um, what, uh, what, what, tell, tell us about uh, the organization. Tell us about the uh, the charity. And we'll talk about Bald is Beautiful. Bald is Beautiful, I started it in 2002. I'm an ovarian cancer survivor. Um, almost 19 years now. And I started Bald is Beautiful. Uh, I was inspired by my hair loss and meeting other women who had struggled with just that aspect, almost more than other things in some ways, uh, to empower women to define our beauty and our wholeness as women in sickness and in health on our own terms. So, okay. and part of that is the visual media of putting the image of a bald woman out there in TV, film, print, whatever, in ways that are like a societal hug instead of things about women without hair that make people feel worse, you know, especially when you're depicting cancer it's usually they're kind of gray pallor, they're wearing an ill-fitting wig or a scarf, and everything out there made me feel worse than I already did at that time. And I just thought, okay, when I finish this, I want to do something to change that. Find, put images out there that are empowering and not harmful. That is incredible. I mean, um, I'm the son of a cancer survivor, so I, uh, I truly, truly appreciate that. I think it's... Uh, a beautiful thing that what you're doing, and um, we've we've got such a fun game. Um, oh. We're gonna have so much fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun today. Um, I've said fun. I feel, I feel all facts. I feel all facts leaving my brain now. Now that we're starting, I'm not okay. gonna know anything. Good, good, good. As we as we like, just empty it all out. It's um, all gone. I know nothing. <laughs> Here is how the game works. Um, I'm gonna ask you six trivia questions for every question you get right. You're gonna get a spin on the wheel at the end of the game. So you get to win cash and prizes. That is- And prizes? I would, I would, all sorts of things. You could win a, a lot of different things. Different- A brand new car. A brand new car. <laughs> um, that's the, that'd be so great. Um, so uh, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a good time. And um, I, uh, how do, are you excited about this new Spider-Man movie? Because I mean, I mean, amazing. I am. I'm always excited about Marvel movies. Oh, Not just because I was in them. That's the thing. I've I've been a fan since childhood. So the whole Marvel thing in my life is just a dream come true on every possible level. Uh, so, yeah. I'm I'm such a fan of you and such a fan of the of the movies. I'm surrounded. I have action figures all around me all the time. So you know, this is this is like. The kind of you know the, my my kind of my kind of stuff is just the, the Wolverine. Okay, so all right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I have other stuff. I have like this guy. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! Well, I bet you don't have these. No! Oh my gosh! Are those the actual? Those are those your actual ears? Yes, they let me keep a pair. Whoa! That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. What? Oh, okay. All right. All right. I think we need to play the game. I'll send you the wheel and we can spin for me to win the eel. Here. Okay. Oh, no, I'm never giving those. Uh, no, never. Okay, here we go. Here we go. First question of the game. Question number one. You've just been put in charge of your own story by Kevin Feige at Marvel. What is Soren up to in the MCU right now? Oh my goodness. Well, she is activating and motivating the whole scroll community to unite and form a better world for themselves, even though that goes counter to the comic book, but we started that new narrative, right? And they're not refugees. They're not all evil. So she is going to rule with compassion and fierceness alongside her husband. Can we accept compassion and fearlessness? 
Yes, we can. Okay, All good. Right. I was not 100% sure if it was going to go over well with the judges, but you did great. All right, here we go. So you got one spin. Question number two. In the MCU, what is the Watcher's name? Oh my God, I knew you were going to ask me Marvel questions and I'm going to go blank. Here we go. Is it Ego, Horatio Sands, Uatu, or Gwyneth Paltrow? It's not Gwyneth Paltrow. I mean, we don't know. It could be. I am. Oh, I knew you were going to. Steven. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. Don't ask Marvel questions because then I get nervous. Okay, well, here's the here are the names again. Oh my gosh. Ego. There's ah! ego. There's Ego. There's Uatu. There's Horatio Sands. And there's my favorite, Gwyneth Paltrow. Ah. Well, okay, I know it's not Horatio and Gwen. Okay. I'm just gonna go with the with Uatu. Uatu, the watcher, is Correct. Well done. You better believe that's his name. Uatu the Watcher. Uh, the cool, the coolest. One of the coolest. Uh, and there's been many Watchers, uh, but he is the is my favorite. Uh, okay, here we go. Question number three. What is not a real band name? Hooba Snake. Psychic Furs. Kaja Gugu, or. Cootie and the Trench Gobblers. Oh my God. Well, Hoobastank is real. Psychic Furs is, Psychedelic Furs is real. So uh, did you mean yes, Psychedelic yes, or? Psychedelic Furs, yes. Okay. So, well, then it's the last one. Coochie, whatever. The other, the other Coochie three. Coochie and the Trench Gobblers is not a real band name. Very good job. Nice work. <laughs> nice work. Uh, um, maybe it will be a band. Maybe I'll start that band. Maybe that's what happens. Uh, I don't know, probably not. Question number four. What was the first movie Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan co-starred in together? Is it Sleepless in Seattle, When Harry Met Sally, Joe versus the Volcano, or Bachelor Party? Oh my God, well, I feel like the uh, Sleepless in Seattle was the thing that launched the two of them as there is like the, the cultural fave, you know, couple so the other two are not them the, the, the and joe versus the volcano must have come up i'm gonna say the sleeping seattle that answer is, is, ah, is it's joe versus the volcano is it? it is joe versus ah. the volcano which incidentally is a terrible movie i think that's maybe why the sleeping seattle was the one that kind of launched it and the joe versus the volcano just it. Yeah, <laughs> kind of, it's yeah. You would think that's the way that it would go. A good movie, and then they try them again, and it's a bad movie. But incidentally, Joe versus the volcano. They started together. Everyone was like, they're great together. The movie's bad. Somehow, they still got to make Sleepless in Seattle together. It's a and shock. then you've got mail and a couple of. Anyway. I know. Then the Godfather. That's not. <laughs> Question number five. According to Apollo astronauts, the moon smells like what? Wet dog hair, burnt gunpowder, old cheese, or egg McMuffins? Okay, well, egg McMuffins didn't exist then yet, did they? Oh, they might have actually. No, they didn't. I feel like <laughs> you should know this because you are currently in space. That's true. But I'm gonna, anyway, okay. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're gonna go with the gunpowder thing then. Burnt gunpowder is correct. It is also the name of Joe Rogan's new cologne. Oh my God. <laughs> Burnt gunpowder by Joe Rogan. <laughs> that would be, that's great. All right, okay, no. <laughs> But I could, I'd buy it. Question number six. This is your really? last question. Here I'll we buy go. a thing. All right. Last question. Here we go. Who, <laughs> who is set to reprise their role as Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man No Way Home? Is it oh. Ben Kingsley, 
Alfred Molina. Alfred Molina. Alfred Molina for the final question answer is... Correct, well done, it is Alfred Molina <laughs> coming back as Dr. Octopus. Uh, that means- yeah, I didn't even got, need the multiple choice on that one, finally. So great, you got five out of six right. I'm it. very, very happy for you, this, you really killed it. Let's uh, let's give it a spin. Let's now we really it. have to see how much that's worth now. Yeah, let's see, let's see. What's let's that see. worth to you? What's it worth What's to you? What's it worth $50. Good. Good start. Good start. Seventy-five dollars. Nice. Twenty-five dollars. Fifty dollars. And our final one. Here we go. Let's give it a real. A real spin. Here we go. And there we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice torque. Yeah, you can't have some torque. Yeah, 100. Ah, uh, okay. $25 with a total of. Total of. Two. 25. You won $225 today. That is very exciting. How do you feel? I feel awesome. And today, if you don't mind, today's Giving Tuesday. So if you don't mind, I will be contributing those winnings to the Ovarian Cancer Research Alliance. What? Oh my gosh, that is, uh, Sharon, that is absolutely incredible. That's an amazing- You guys want to match? You want to match? You want to match me? Yeah. Oh, can <laughs> I? Well, we'll talk to our producer about <laughs> that and then do that, the, the thing that you just said. Um, <laughs> $225. That is absolutely incredible. What a wonderful win. I'm so happy for you. Um, congratulations. You. So fun. Yeah. Uh, can't wait to see you in uh, in more amazing Marvel movies and other things. I want to see you in Star Trek. I want to see you show up in Star Wars. There's lots of fun things I'd like to see you do. Yes, I agree. I concur. Let's manifest that stuff. Yes, manifest! Manifesto! To the stars and beyond. Uh, <laughs> thanks again, uh, of everybody out there that was watching. If you're a giant Joe versus the Volcano fan, um, you, you know, could tell me lots of reasons why it's a great film and, and not a bad film, uh, then maybe you should send us an email live at winloot.com and you can be on the show and then you can prove us wrong. Uh, Sharon, you're the best. Stay strong, stay healthy, and keep on spinning. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Sharon Blinn, and I'm coming to you via Outer Space by way of New York. And I just won $225 on Win Loot Live! <laughs>